Abner was a contestant earlier this season and he was great. He was just the energy and the charisma that we generally try to cast for here at Wipeout. Watching it on TV seemed like the ultimate. I knew I wasn't going to be like a college athlete anymore. I already went to college. No one's going to be a pro or anything. And this was kind of like the ultimate obstacle course. I was like, I could freaking kill this thing. And it killed me. Oh! oh dives right in, but his first hit is a flop and a failure. It's exhausting. You think when you're sitting there eating a bag of chips, having a drink, watching it on TV, like I can totally do that. I played football in high school, I can do whatever I want. Then you get here, and it's, say it takes you three minutes to run the course. In the first 20 seconds, you're as tired as you've ever been in your entire life. Admiral stuck out on Wipeout when he was a contestant because he sang this country song at the beginning, which ended up being stuck in all the producers' heads for like seven days, probably. I knew I needed a gag. I knew I needed something to get me on the show, so I just wrote a little country song for Wipeout called I Love You Big Balls. I'll sing a little bit for you. Always wanted to be on Wipeout on ABC. I'm taking that 50K home, just you watch me. Cause I, I love you big balls. I love you big red balls. Won't you love me? Won't you love me? That's incredible. <laughs> Yeehaw! He kicked butt on the qualifier, 12 to 6, 6 to 3, all the way to the wipeout zone. He was a champ the whole time. He was really like just the ideal wipeout contestant. 35 miles per hour. Yeah. Hey, hey. I think uh, our episode kind of stood out a lot to the people here. And while I was here, I, I saw helmets and stuff. I, I heard of these things called testers. We got to know him a little bit because he made it all the way through the run, so he was around on set quite a few times, and he really was adamant about coming back and working with us and trying to test. I was a hardcore fan, so I knew the Black and Blues, and I knew those were the people that ran the courses every day. They're here for safety whenever uh, contestants are running the course, and I knew I wanted to be a Black and Blue. It was my, my goal. Other than winning the 50 Gs, which I didn't do, my follow-up goal is to be a black and blue. All right, Abner, go ahead. So after my episode was done, they started calling me, and I came to test a few dozen times. And so I really busted my butt testing. Like, I, I knew something was gonna come out and smack me, but I knew they wouldn't want to invite someone back that took it lightly. So I always went 100%. Come on, Abner! Yeah! <laughs> Abner was a great tester, probably for the same reason he was a great contestant. He kept his positivity and even when you get hit by something really hard he was ready to do it again and actually just a month ago I was a tester and I asked him if I could just try being a black and blue he said I'll give you one day you suck you're never coming back no promises that's great we thought it'd be a great asset to the uh, black and blue team. And not to mention, he gets along with everyone on set. Go for Abner. And they've uh, added me on the team. I'm here. I am the Cuban black and blue. So they kind of recruited him to the team. Just a fun little Cinderella story. 